online communities, methods of communicating. So in this section, we're going to be looking at social media, blogs, wikis, instant messaging, podcasts, and forums. So the first one we have again is social media. And this is defined as websites and applications that enable users to create and share content or to participate in social networking. So we know the examples, we know the, the Facebook, the Instagram, the Snapchats. So some people use it for personal uses, so to stay connected to friends. And people also use it for professional reasons. And one professional website, for example, is LinkedIn. Um, Facebook has also become semi-professional, but is normally just linked to friends linking up with each other, friends trying to keep in contact. So that's what social media is. Now, as an individual, you can use it to communicate. And, and as a company, you can use it to, to do anything, really. You can use it to communicate with customers really easy. You can use it to um, reply to customers because some people actually prefer messaging their um, companies on social media. Companies also use it for marketing, advertising. Rather than paying a big company like, let's say, BBC to advertise, if you have a really good big social media following, you can put messages out that way. If you have a connection to a famous person, so let's say, I don't know, JD Sport has a connection to a rapper or someone, then they can put their messages out. They can put their discounts out from that person's social media as well. Next, we have a blog, and a blog is also known as a web log. Now, this is where people post comments or they post things. So let's say if I had a blog, it would be a blog about IT or uh, computer science, teaching people, programming, gaming, such and so forth, right? That would be my blog, my web blog. Now, people who have a common interest, they might come and like, comment, subscribe to my blog, and they'll be able to get updates on things I'm posting. It is very similar to social media, and I think social media have actually taken over from blogs, but we still have to know what a blog is. Blogs don't tend to come up much in the exam questions I've seen, but you still have to know what it is just in case it comes up. All right, next we have a wiki. Um, a wiki is a collaborative tool that allows students to contribute and modify one or more pages of course-related materials. This is not just for school. This can be used for any topic there is. It is mainly used for collaboration purposes in Unit 1. So for the purpose of Unit 1, think of wikis as a way for students to collaborate, um, Think about the benefits of this as well, the fact that anyone can work on it at any time from anywhere in the world once they have an internet connection. They can update each other's work, they can check each other's work, they can verify each other's work. The downsides, quite simply, are the opposite of that. So because you can work on it at any time, anywhere, people tend to have um, this thing where they, they're not working together, but that might not be a downside for some. There's also you have to always have an active internet connection because that's where you access the wiki. Someone can come in and change your information. So what if I wrote on my wiki, two plus two is four? Someone might come along and be like, no, two plus two is 22, right? So those are the benefits um, and drawbacks of using wikis and what a wiki is. This is the one that most of you will probably be using on a day-to-day -day basis. And let me just say WhatsApp, or let me say Facebook, let me say Instagram or Snapchat. Even though some of those are social medias, there are also instant messaging platforms where you send a message and it is received almost instantaneously. People can see messages, they can reply, they can send different types of content. So for example, um, on WhatsApp, I send videos, pictures, audio notes, whatever I want to send, right? Even Word documents um, at times. So that's what instant messaging is. This is normally linked also to chat rooms. It's more or less the same thing as instant message, but we've moved away from chat rooms now but a chat room is you log into a website let's say um, i used to use msn.com a lot and you chat to someone on your pc just as you would on whatsapp you, you can send files just the same you can send emojis text messages audio notes just the same so instant messaging apps like whatsapp probably the most popular one have taken over from chat rooms but they're more or less the same thing but again a chat room is normally on a website so on a www website an instant messaging service can be on a website, but we've moved over to apps because it's a lot more convenient. So a podcast, think of a podcast like online radio, where it's normally saved in a specific location, and you can either go there and listen to it, or you can go there and download it. A podcast that I like listening to is from a tech website called IGN, and they have podcasts on different topics, uh, tech, gaming, movies, TV shows, everything in that area. And I can simply go there and I can download it and play it when I'm out and about or I can play it directly from YouTube. It's normally uploaded in audio format. But however, some people have now started doing video format because YouTube makes it so easy. And these are normally called vidcasts, but some people still say it's a podcast. 
And lastly, we have a forum, and it's almost the same as a blog, um, but it's normally used for online discussion, whereas a blog is one person giving their point of view on something and maybe other people replying. Whereas a forum, we might have a forum on uh, the situation in London when it comes to congestion charge, right? And people come there and anyone can post. There is no, let's say, leader of the forum other than the person who owns the website. Whereas a blog, a blog has a definite leader who makes comments, who, who, put th who puts things out there and other people can then reply to that. But on a forum, normally people can start their own topics and anyone will be able to go in and post a message. People can still reply like, um, same type of thing like a blog, but again, a forum is normally a message board where anyone can go and put their information.